everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're returning to the game Nino Kuni Cross Worlds with some helpful information to build your CP through Tetra Puzzles. Tetra Puzzles remind me of the game Tetris. They have the same block-shaped pieces like Tetris, but they're put together in a particular way to create a picture. These puzzles, once unlocked and started on, will increase your CP and help improve your monster fighting abilities. The first thing we need to discuss when it comes to Tetra Puzzles is the many ways to unlock the puzzle pages themselves. I'll tell you about the important information you need to be aware of, and then take you through the steps for each way of unlocking the puzzle pages. Let's dive in. One of the ways to unlock these pages is through Soul Stones. To follow along with us, go to Record, then Soul Stone. Here you'll see lists of monsters and achievement rewards for working hard to defeat the monsters in these different areas of the Nino Kuni world. Not all the monsters will be able to help you unlock puzzle pages, so check which monsters will help you towards this specific goal. As an example, for this group of monsters, if you gain 10 stars, you'll unlock the cactus page. There are many different monsters you could fight against, but this is an easy way to look through and see which monsters will give you which rewards. When going monster hunting, you always want to make sure you get the soul stones that they drop. These soul stones, when collected, are what turn into the stars needed for the achievement reward and what help you work towards those Tetra Puzzle pages. One way to increase the likelihood of collecting soul stones from the monsters you fight is by using the Aroma of Focus. When used, it gives a 700% chance of earning soul stones and will help to keep you laser focused while battling against many monsters. In order to get the Aroma of Focus, you can either buy it or pick it up along your journey. One thing to note is that the price does increase every time you buy it within a 24 hour time period. So it's best to just buy one a day, that way you don't spend too much money on this one resource. One more thing to note about hunting monsters in order to gain stars and thus puzzle pages is that you have to register the monsters for your work to count towards that reward system. There are so many benefits that come from fighting monsters, but in order to build up those rewards in the right places, you need to register the correct monster. In order to register monsters, go to Record, Soul Stones, scroll to the monster you'll be fighting against. And if you're in that area where the monster can be found, there will be a red information button on the monster card itself. Click the button and select register. Another way that you can unlock Tetra puzzles is by collecting specialities. To check how you're doing or what you need, head to record, then specialities. It's right underneath soul stones. And here you can see the same kind of system set up as the soul stones page. If registered correctly, everything you're able to collect will work towards those stars and in turn help you to unlock puzzle pages that are available. Most of the puzzle pages will be unlocked through the soul stones and specialities as I've already described for you. However, there are a few pages that can only be unlocked once you're at a certain level and some others that have a totally different system for unlocking them all together. These would be the protomark, Nantrum, and Vulcanard pages. Since this is a different system, let's quickly run through this other process together. To follow along, you'll want to go to Challenge and then Dimensional Border and select which of the three monsters or pages you would like to work towards. For this video example, we're working towards the Protomark page. Once you've selected who you want to battle, you'll be put into random groupings with other players in order to fight the monsters together. This challenge arena is made up of multiple levels and will get increasingly harder as you move forward with your team. Although it does get harder and there are many hard boss fights, the benefit is that the further you make it in, the better your reward will be. As you defeat these monsters, they will drop something called Protomark Essence. And it is this essence that you need in order to buy the Protomark puzzle page. When you finish the fight, stop into the Dimensional Border Shop. It will be listed at the top left of your screen in small blue writing. And here you'll see the Protomark page, which requires 20 of the Protomark Essence. Krazop has worked really hard and has all the essence he needs now. He's able to return to the puzzle page and unlock the Protomark puzzle and begin to solve it. These are the main ways to unlock Tetra puzzles. 
but Nino Kuni also likes to throw in a few extra ways here and there, such as an event that's going on now where you can work towards a limited time Tetra Puzzle page, the Servant Lamp page. Since this is a limited time thing, it also has a slightly different process. <laughs> In order to unlock the Servant Lamp page, you have to buy it with the Dark Syndicate medals, which can be earned by completing quests from the event. To check out these quests and work towards this limited time page, look in the upper right left corner and click on the Legendary Asian Event, then Legendary Ancient. Here you'll see all the quests listed out for you to complete. This will only be here for a short time, so don't miss out! As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the point of these puzzle pages is to increase your CP. This is done by unlocking and beginning to solve the puzzle. Even with just putting one piece on the puzzle, you will already have a CP increase. As an additional resource for all of you, we have included in this video a key that will help you complete many of the Tetra puzzle pages. As you'll notice, this does not have the answers for all of the puzzles, but will definitely get you started on many of them that are available now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on all things Tetra Puzzles. Join us again soon for our next video, and as always, happy gaming, friends!